everyone, welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name is Bronte. Um, so this week I'm going to talk about kind of a an updated system tour, if you will. Um, <laughs> it hasn't really changed that much, to be honest, but I don't know. I thought this was a good opportunity to do a, a little run through, um, seeing as we're kind of getting towards halfway through this year, which is ridiculous. <laughs> um, so that's what I thought we could talk about. Uh, the sun's shining at the moment, but it's looking kind of stormy out. I love how I always give you a commentary on the weather in these videos. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I'm very lucky with the natural light here, so it kind of makes a difference to the video. Anyway, <laughs> so system tour. I have my little stack here. Um, it's Like I said, it's not that big. I don't really have that many books that I am... Um, keeping up with at the moment. Um, I, I said last week, I really wish that I was that person. Like I would love to have like a massive stack of notebooks um, that I use for all sorts of different things, but um, I feel like I'm kind of more loyal to only a few books. Um, that's just how I, my brain works. Um, so yeah, I thought we could just let's just dive straight in um so here i have my wonderland 222 this is a um an a6 size in this uh like i think it was called like dusty lavender or something this nice lilac-y color i got this from miso paper my favorite um this is the undated I think they call it a notebook. It does have the time schedules. This would be really good for dailies. Um, and yeah, I don't know. If I wasn't in the weeks, I think something like this would be great for writing daily to-do lists because you do have the times in there. Um, it is Tomo River paper and the pages are numbered. It's very nice notebook. Um, I'm using this as my health log. I'm not going to show you the pages. It's kind of private, personal, um, but I just write, I, I write in here, well at the moment it's maybe only twice a month, but I want to try and write in here twice a week, um, just about thoughts and feelings and things that are going well or things that are not going so well, um, yeah, uh, I wrote in here on Tuesday morning, yes, yeah, it must have been Tuesday morning, and it was really great. I wrote like a lot. Let me just check. I wrote uh, two full pages. Um, so yeah, it was good. Um, hang on. So I wrote two full pages. I'm just covering up like half of one of the pages that I wrote. Um, basically, I just kind of write and whenever I stop, I draw a line underneath and then I'll start again with I write the date and the day of the week and then just like whatever I'm feeling. Um, so this is more personal um, as opposed to my Hobonichi cousin, which is more of like a log, really. Um, so yeah, am I even in frame? Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> so this is the Tomutaro Makino A6 pencil board from Hobonichi. Um, and I'm using it in here just because this is Tomo River paper. Um, I was worried about uh the you know the ink kind of transferring onto the page onto the kind of pages you're writing on does that make any sense um you know in the Hobonichis it happens that's why i always use a pencil board um so yeah that's this one i keep this in uh this uh is an a6 Hobonichi cover and it has my midori a6 in it which i have been using on and off as a bullet journal but this has kind of dropped out my system, so I'm not going to talk about it today. Um, but the health log lives in here with that, and they fit together really nicely. Um, this is a Megan Rhiannon postcard in the front of here. Um, so yeah, that's that's this one. Um, I really um, I'm glad I added this, and I will definitely be. Uh, how do I say it? I don't know, I'll just be like incorporating this more regularly, I think, into my like planning routine. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, okay, so now we have 
two Hobonichi weeks. <laughs> um, if you watched my video last week, I introduced this new Spring Start Hobonichi Weeks. Um, this is the Tomotaro Makino Spring Start Weeks. Um, it's beautiful. I have put my clear cover on it. Um, I didn't want to, but I have put it on because I'm really worried about it getting scuffed uh, when I take it to and from work with me. So I just put the clear cover on to be safe. I'm thinking if I'm at home for the weekend and stuff, I might actually just take the clear cover off. Um, but we'll see. I'm kind of a, it's kind of a hassle, I guess, if you've got stuff in the pockets like I have. <laughs> so let's look in the front. So in here, I've got two sheets of Midori stickers. I kind of wasn't going to use stickers in here. And then uh, I decided maybe I will use stickers in here. <laughs> so I kind of put these in here as a just in case. Um, and then I've got some Paper K stickers in here, which I use as a signify in the back pages. I didn't explain that last week. I will explain it. Um, and then I have these little star stickers, which are from WH Smith's. Um, they come on like a sheet twice the size, but I had to cut them in half to fit it into this book. Um, I have sticky notes in here, which has got like a running shopping list. And yeah, I did do a kind of flip of this last week, so I don't want to... Um, uh, I don't want it to kind of be really repetitive. Um, but this is kind of an update in my system because um, I wanted to kind of simplify things this week's, um, I, you know, I was happy, or I am happy with it, but um, I don't know, something about it was making me feel a little bit restless, shall we say? Um, uh, but it was working, it's like the perfect, This the weeks is the perfect planner for me. Um, so, I love having the page for notes, like that is something I really need from a weekly planner. And I love the paper. I actually like the fact that it's cream paper as well. I know some people don't like the cream, but I like, you know, I like the cream. And yeah, it's not too big. Um, I feel like it's really honestly kind of perfect. So um, I backfilled this because I didn't realize that there would be so many more weeks. Like I thought this would start at the beginning of April. Um, I thought it would start on this week, March into April, but it actually starts February into March. So I backfilled it um, because I didn't, I just didn't want all of these blank pages basically. Um, so what I did is I filled out all of the information from my other weeks um, and I just kind of simplified it. I just wrote with a uh, Muji gel pen. Um, I write with the 0 0.38 in black. Uh, I'm feeling like this batch of pens that I've got are a bit too inky. So, I don't know. I feel like this week I smudged quite a bit. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it really bothers me that I smudged here. Um, so, it's kind of annoying. Um, so, this is this week. Uh, I don't like this spread. <laughs> it's really bugging me and I'm really excited to turn the page till ne to next week. Um, I, as I was doing these dots to mark my work days, I remembered that I don't like this color of the Kuretake dot markers. Where is it? Um, it's this color, like the lid would sh show you that it's like a really nice kind of foresty green. No, it's like this really like weird, bright, acidic -y green. Um, it's called, do they have the names on here? Gr it's, oh, it's just called green. I don't know, I feel like the lid is misleading. Um, so yeah, I kind of dotted here and then I couldn't go back and I'm really annoyed about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, next week I already have some things on a uh, little page flags that I need to write in. Um, but really the star of this planner for me at the moment is the, um, the notes pages. So I'm using the notes pages for dailies. Uh, and I've only been using this planner for about a week for the dailies, but it's really changed the game for me. Um, I'm just checking I'm in frame because sometimes I'm worried I'm not. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, the these pages um, are really working very, very well for me. Um, I mentioned last week my boyfriend's away on like a long work trip at the moment. He's going to be away for three weeks total. 
um, so I'm by myself um, and I feel like when I am by myself I kind of really need to stick to routines um, just to stay productive and not just like sit on the sofa all day so these lists have really been helping me to like you know sort sort things out so I have like a running list of lots of things kind of like an overview of things that I want to get done when he's away and then I'm doing dailies in the rest of the pages so far so um this is what we've got so far um I have been writing kind of like small future things on sticky notes and then crossing them off and I'll like chuck them away when those things are done so I can actually like just throw that out um I did some meal plan stuff for the week, uh, which is pretty good. I um, would eat the same thing every single night if it were up to me, so I'm trying to not do that. Um, yeah, and then the paper case stickers I mentioned here, it's like this little scribbly cloud, I think. On her website, this is called like brain fog, but um, I am using it in as a signifier in here, when I write some like personal notes. So I ordered some stuff from Paper K on Sunday. And so I put that little sticker there just to signify that that was a little note about that instead of like a to do. Um, and then I also have something here that's like a personal note, but I didn't put two on one page because I also used a heart to mark that. Um, because I tend to use a heart as a signifier for like any kind of memory or like personal note in in the weeks so uh yeah that's what i'm using it for in these pages as well so that's that um i've so far i'm on page five i've not gotten very far uh but let's put that down there but yeah um it's working really well for me and i was worried that by kind of splitting up the weekly pages and the daily tasks I wouldn't reference them but in actual fact I keep coming back to check this these pages like several times a day so that's good I'm proud of myself <laughs> um because I'm kind of like a goldfish if it's not in front of me I'll forget or like I I just won't look at it so this I was kind of dubious about it working for me but it, it is working for me so that's great um so that's this week's Okay, so then I have my 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 old weeks, let's call it. Um, so this I've been using since December. Um, basically, I'm going to keep using it. Uh, I don't want to abandon it. So I've been using it as a planner since December. But I am going to kind of switch gears with it and use it in a similar way to the way I was doing bullet journaling. So basically, um, I have been kind of sporadically keeping a weekly bullet journal but instead of planning it's kind of like talking about stationery and things that I see that are like a new release or uh an order that I placed or stuff something like that or things like that sorry so that's what is happening here so I wrote on Tuesday about there's a there was a Moira and Kunst shop update on Tuesday I am trying to do like a stationery no buy for May so I didn't order anything but I kind of made a note that there was new stuff in in their shop um and then some things about uh stickers from daiso that hopefully my boyfriend is or he has picked some things up for me from daiso um while well, he's in america so i'm very excited about that um so yeah uh i do have like kind of per some like personal notes written in here there was too many for this page like i have my work days in here I didn't want to tip X out all of this stuff, so I'm just ignoring it. But because like here I have a haircut, I, I'm just gonna tip X out that uh, that bit when I come to this week. Um, and then, yeah, like here, look, I marked my birthday. I, I'm gonna tip X that out when I come to right in here. So there's just that little bit more space. Um, I also have these page flags marking paperback book releases uh i need to transfer those into my new weeks oh, that's the job for uh this afternoon i'm actually just gonna take a break uh or take a second to write though that down that i need to do that i'll be back with you in one minute
okay that's done <laughs> um so yeah that's an example of me writing something very small on my dailies list i am writing everything down um and it's helping me for sure so yeah um and then in the back of here as you're probably familiar um is like my commonplace pages um i am going to keep up with these i'm on like page 34 i'm kind of getting towards um, or I am halfway through these notes pages and we're not halfway through the year I don't know if I will fill this up or not um if I do that's okay because for next year I'm going to do commonplacing in this um I've shown this in a previous video uh but I got this when this spring collection was released um and I think using it as a commonplace book is a very nice use of it uh, because uh, you know my health log is A6 and um, I have the A6 Hobonichi cover I figure these two can live together next year um, and yeah so if I fill up these commonplace pages I'll just start in this um, I think that's that will work just fine and I'm excited to use this notebook and look at it all the time because it's so beautiful so there's that okay so then i've thrown this notebook in to this mix i don't use this very often this is just one of the hobonichi kind of supplemental notebooks um i do use this for notes on like social media and if i need to make notes about a video i'm filming i'll write them in here i don't use this as i said i don't use this very often like i've written like three four pages in here um but it's really useful to have. I kind of use social media notes more in like the, the weekly pages of my weeks. Um, these are kind of like expanded ideas. And sometimes I write them in my commonplace pages. It depends what mood I'm in. Um, so yeah, but that's, that's this notebook. Um, it's so tiny and it's obviously not dated or anything. So... I can come back to this whenever I want. So that's that one. I'm just gonna organize this stack. Okay. So then we've got my chasm. So, <laughs> um, as you might know, I am a very big fan of my Hobonichi cousin. Um, I really love this planner so much. It works so perfectly for me. Um, it's just, it's, I have no words. <laughs> it's so great. Um, it's exactly what I need, like the weeks and the Hobonichi cousin. In theory, I don't need anything else. It's, the, I mean, they look, these two look beautiful together as well. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's such, such a great planner for me. Um, but as I kind of said earlier, I don't necessarily use this to plan in. This is more of like a log of my life. Um, and I'm really looking forward to having a whole year in one book. Uh, I do have my half year from last year. So I started using the cousin in July. So I got the second half of the Avec books last year. So this is my first year in a full year cousin. So it's really exciting. Um, let's go to this week or today. So today is Thursday. Um, I've got some stuff written in here already. Um, so um, let's go back to, okay, so let's go back to a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I would normally use the left-hand columns of my cousin. I have been using them, like, basically since I got this planner, um, to make to-do lists. Here's quite a long one. Um, that's what this planner has partly been for me. or well, this book, I should say, book. Um, is to-dos are on the left-hand side, and then when I want to write something, you know, I... I reference this planner um I see the to-do list so you know like I said it's I'm not checking in multiple places so that just helps me out um but I have tried out the daily logs in here and if you know if 
I'd done it for a couple of days and I hadn't been looking at them, then I would have continued to use the cousin for those daily to-dos. But um, this has worked excellently for me. And so um, I'm kind of phasing out the to-do lists. So I think I started uh, in here on this Friday. Um, and so I had some things written in for Saturday and Sunday. So I kind of, you know, I've kept it up and ticked them off. But then uh, Monday was the 1st of May um, and I kind of just made like a priorities list in here, partly as a memory keeping exercise to remind myself things that I got done that day. Um, but then as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, this is yesterday and the day before, um, I decided on Tuesday, kind of on a whim, to write some morning pages in here. What did I? Okay, so scratch that. It wasn't necessarily a whim. I wrote this sticky note in here that I think I wrote bef just before I went to bed because this idea occurred to me, so I had to write it down so I didn't forget it. Um, about how I could start using the columns, the left-hand column as um, like morning pages as it were you know when you sit down in the morning as soon as you get up and you write um i thought that could be a really good use of the space instead because uh i don't like it when like here i don't really like it when the margins are or the left hand side of the pages i don't like it when it's really blank it just i don't know i like the pages being really full so i thought the uh morning pages type thing could be a really good use of the space it's not that much space especially when like here i have stickers um but that's you know i don't need very much space so it's kind of like just stream of consciousness like not really paragraphs or anything i mean i did put a line break in here but like yeah um it's been going well i've done it three days now and um, this is today and it's covered with this receipt um and it's it's helped me i don't know i've like written down like what i dreamed about like the things that i was thinking about in the morning like what the weather is like really kind of mundane things but i don't know it's nice to do it to get things out of my brain um so yes that's what's going on in here um now this page is kind of bugging me because i drew this line down the center of the page instead of the the kind of line that hobonichi draws in for you um, because I saw Randy um, from Randy.plans is using her her cousin pages kind of divided in half and I really like the way that her pages look I think it's a kind of more a bit of an interesting use of space you know it's just a bit different um, so I drew this line in to remind myself that I wanted to try that out but now I'm doing those morning pages I don't need this whole half a page for those so it's kind of bugging me. I think what I'm going to do is I will just kind of write as much as I need to write in here and then draw a draw a line underneath it and write, you know, whatever the rest is in the evening. Um, because I normally, you know, I'll write in the morning and then I'll write in the evening. Um, the past few days I've been writing around half past nine, ten o'clock in the evening. Um, sometimes I'll write in the afternoon if I'm off work and then I'll maybe come back to it in the evening or I will just, yeah, here I wrote at 7pm. So it just kind of depends on the day. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to write a little chunk in here tomorrow morning, underline and then just keep going when I get home or whenever I get a chance, you know, in the evening. So that's that. Uh, I will also show you the way I'm using the um back pages or like the notes pages in here i don't know if i've shown this on this channel yet um i'm doing like memory type recaps of the the month so uh, i'm just writing lists of like things that happened you know maybe something that i knitted um or you know projects that i knitted uh books i've read um, and I've also been recording my Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers. Uh, so 
March was the first time I wrote down my number of the number of followers on my um on my planner Instagram account because I have two Instagram accounts. I have one where I share my knitting and one where I talk about only planners. Um or I share things about planners only. Um and yeah, so March was the first time I wrote the followers for my planner account as well. So I'm going to keep that up. And, and actually, it's really interesting to compare because my YouTube subscribers and my followers on my planner account grew quite significantly, um, which is quite nice to see. It feels like a bit of an achievement. So, yeah, I thought I'd just share that. And then I use, this is the same as it's been previously, but I use the My 100 here for books I've read. Um, I don't know if I need to update this. No, I don't. I'm reading two books at the moment, so it feels like I'm, it's taking me a long time to read them, but it's because I'm reading two at once. So that's that, um, my little planner stack. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a sore throat. I'm just gonna drink some liquid. Okay, drink some water. Um, so that's, that's kind of that. <laughs> um, I know I also have this guy. <laughs> This is the Olive Traveler's Notebook passport size. Um, and I was very excited about this to arrive and I thought this was going to be my new planner system instead of the weeks, but um, I'm just so terrified of really scuffing the leather or like spilling water on it in my bag, at, you know, when I'm going to and from work. And um, it just feels really precious. I have it kind of set up. Um, with this insert that I decorated that's from Good Ink Impressions. Um, I set up a May calendar in here and I thought I would use this in May but it's just not transpired. Um, I might scalpel out the pages that I have, like this one and, and this one. I might scalpel them out and use this for something else. I really like this as a cover page. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I was considering selling it, but it also seems a shame to sell because it is so beautiful. Um, if you have suggestions for what I can use this for, let me know. I would love to know. I know that it's kind of good as like commonplace size or, you know, for commonplace notes or I don't know. I was very influenced by Lindsay Scribbles. Like I love her uh, pages in her passport uh, TNs, but um, I just don't know if this will work for me. I think I'm more of like a printed bound book type person. This is a bit too much freedom somehow. So it was a kind of overwhelming when I actually had it in my hands, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm really sorry if you were excited about seeing Traveller's Notebook content on this channel. It's kind of paused for now when I, while I decide what this should be. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. Um, so that's, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and I do videos every week. I don't know if you are a subscriber or not. If you're not, maybe consider subscribing. Um, yeah, I do a video. It comes out every Monday and we're talking lots about planners and stationery on this channel. I have previously talked about knitting things, but that's kind of paused for now because this is the stuff that I'm really enjoying talking about. And I also have a Patreon where I post every single week about my planners. Um, I do a post every Friday where I'll show you all my pa all my daily pages, my weekly pages for the week, um, and kind of talk about what's been going on that week in my planners and uh, any kind of system changes, I'll share them first on Patreon. I also talk about knitting on there, do knitting posts, um, happy mail, uh, I want to try post about books more. So yeah, um, there's a link in the description for that. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching. I will speak to you next week. Bye everybody.